Coming up on this week's episode of SVG Motors Weekly. All right, we're out here at SVG Urbana and I got great news, great news. Because of how awesome the community has been, the people in Urbana and all over all of our stores, we've decided to extend our grand opening event, not just for November, but we're gonna run through the rest of the year together. So extended warranties are definitely um, what we feel like a major part of the, of the buying decision when you're buying, whether it's new or used. My Snapchat on here? Can you Snapchat? Yep. No. That's good, I hate Snapchat. Yep. Uh, this does have your uh, uh, Apple uh, car. You know, let me tell you, I love the car business and what it means. sure about it just beeped at me the beeping that's yeah. exceeded the speed limit there is a setting that you can put it on your dash here that will limit your speed there so it'll keep you from getting a ticket oh really yep so I'm kind of curious it has like this little car thing down here and it has two lanes on it the car is tilted to the right what does that mean that is uh, your lane alert in other words if you're getting too close to somebody that will change to yellow uh, keeps you from uh, possibly having a rear end collision. So green means good. Green means good. Okay. It has three settings to it. It has far, near, and close. Okay. So what does this car right here mean? It's like a little just a car. It's all next to the oh, lane. That is your uh, side alert. So if some person's coming up on your side there, there's a little decal or a little alert on the outside mirror there that will let you know that you have a blind spot that somebody's okay. coming up in there so that you don't get hit. So it's like a safety feature. That is right. What do you think of the comfort? How does it handle? Uh, it handles, it's actually really smooth. Nice there. That's due to the electric power steering on it there. Okay. Uh, I'm curious how many miles uh, per gallon the performance of the car? Yeah. Okay. Well, this one here has a 2.0 uh, four cylinder there, which develops 259 horsepower at 279 foot pounds of torque, which gives you awesome passing. Also, it gives you great fuel economy. Oh, really? Yep. It has an 18 gallon fuel tank right there, so you can go a long distance without having to fill up a whole lot of extra right there. Oh, okay. This also has your uh, tilt cruise and telescoping steering wheel and to keep your eyes focused on the road you have steering wheel controls I like that so does this have voice command like I could talk into it it has do... voice command it has your uh, uh, 4G w, uh, LTE uh, Wi-Fi it has Sirius XM you have a three month subscription on that one and it also gives you the uh, OnStar uh, uh, for uh, three months on it there, which is a really good system, and it has the uh, turn-by-turn -turn directions which come with it. So with XM radio, how many stations do you, you get? You have 140 that? channels on XM there. That should be plenty enough to give you some good entertainment. 140? Yeah, 140. And, and, it all comes, and keep in mind, too, on the Sirius and XM radio, you have no advertising. So if you start off at point A, you get to point B, which is 500 miles away, you will not hear one commercial. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's really great. So with this, can you like have text messages and stuff like you that? You have text off? on this one here. This is an eight inch color uh, screen here. Uh, it has all of your necessary uh, programmings, uh, your satellite radio uh, features in it there. This also has a rear view camera for backing up with a grid. Oh, that's good, because I'm always backing into things. Also, this has what they call cross traffic alert. And Rudy, what cross traffic alert is, if you're backing out between two large items, uh, like a couple of pickup trucks and a van, uh, a lot of times you can't see what's coming left or right. And the, the cross traffic alerts keeps you from backing out without seeing what is coming behind you right there. And how it does that, the camera has, uh, the car has sensors on each side of the bumper, which go out and if a vehicle is coming from your right hand side, there'll be a little yellow triangle here, which will 
uh, detected and will also show on the right side of the screen so it lets you know which direction it's coming from. If it's straight back, it'll be in the middle, and if it's on your left side, it'll be on the left side of the screen. Oh, really? Yep. And this one here, as you notice on it there, this has your sport uh, transmission. This has a six-speed transmission in this one here, uh, which gives you excellent pickup on it. Uh, and especially with that turbo in this uh, vehicle there, uh, you have extremely good pickup uh, when getting on an interstate if you need to get up to the uh, speed of the interstate and or passing. So what kind of transmission's in this? This one here is a six-speed automatic. Okay. Yep. And it's, you said it also has a turbo. Uh, it's also turbo on the edge. It's a four-cylinder 2.0. So it's going to make this thing move. Right, yeah. They're all made it really nice on it there. All right, we're out here at SVG Urbana, and I got great news, great news. Because of how awesome the community has been, the people in Urbana and all over all of our stores, we've decided to extend our grand opening event, not just for November, but we're going to run through the rest of the year, which is going to be awesome. Some of the teammates here are going to tell you about what that means. So, Bob, what, what is one of the examples of some of the great deals we got going on? 20% off on all the Buick Enclaves. Fabulous vehicle, great ride, very dependable. Bob, that's a beautiful vehicle, but we're talking like... I mean, that's almost, what, $8,000 $8, off? $8,000 off. What? What else we got going on, Miranda? Is there anything going on? Steve, we're going to give you employee pricing on all new vehicles. Wait a minute. So what if what if I'm not an employee? I don't get the GM discount. That's fine. We'll give it to you anyway. Even if I don't even know anybody who, who worked for GM? Correct. So employee pricing to everybody. I think that's what she's trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on? Uh, we are leasing the Encore for $1.99 a month. Oh, I love the Encore. Get in that thing and you just cruise around. <laughs> do you have an Encore? No, I do not. You want an Encore? I do. She wants an Encore. That means you want an Encore. Everybody wants an Encore, right? <laughs> what else we got going on? Hey, so the new 2018 uh, terrains, they have a new interior. New exterior, and guys, it looks very, very sharp. Come out and check it out, SVG Urbana. Oh my goodness, he is so right. The new GMC terrain, the front end looks, it looks bigger, doesn't it? It does. It's bigger, it doesn't have the, uh, the uh, what do you call that thing? The shifter. The shifter. Now you just push some buttons and you just start going. It is really cool, GM is awesome. What else we got going on? Man, we got the most amazing finance out here in Urbana. So if you come out, make at least $1,500 a month to $2,000 a month with a guaranteed job time, we'll get you in a vehicle. We can get you in a vehicle. So some of you are sitting at home like, oh man, I want a car, but I just don't know if my credit's good enough. Da, da, da. Trust me, you're not alone. There's plenty of us out there. We can get you financing, okay? So come out here and see us. And last but not least, Holly. Yes. What are you going to do for these awesome people? What am I going to do? Everybody that buys a car gets to come see me in my office. And I'll get you in and out, get all your paperwork done, so you can go show off your new ride. So she's going to handle all your paperwork quickly, fast, so you can enjoy that new car. And Christmas is right around the corner. What better time to make a deal? Look, the police are getting in here. It's such a great deal. We're in All right, I'm here at SVG Chevrolet and I'm with the finance manager, Blaine Vensel. Blaine, I know a lot of customers when they buy a car, you know, most cars come with uh, a warranty from the factory and a lot of the new cars, you know, you can get an extended warranty and even use cars, the warranties, but the warranties end at... Uh, Generally about three years, 36,000 miles. So uh, how many of your customers would you say are interested in, in, in extending that out a little bit further? I would say 60 to 70% of the customers are interested in securing their purchase. You know, one thing I know that we walk around with these cell phones. I just got this new Apple phone and I pay, I want to say eight or nine dollars a month for a warranty on my cell phone. And it only makes sense really when you think about it to uh, spend $25, $30 a month uh, to, to extend uh, the warranty on the vehicle in the event that something were to go wrong because the average cost on a vehicle when it does when something does go wrong is, is up there pretty much isn't it? would you say it's it's, it's generally twelve to fourteen hundred dollars per service appointment yeah I mean and that's you know and the problem is is something doesn't go wrong when when uh, things are going great at home you know when things go wrong with your car when it's like 
two weeks before Christmas and you're saving up to do that and all of a sudden you, you know the car starts acting up and, and, and there it is, a big bill. So the extended warranties that they're there we suggest that our customers go with the extended warranty gives you some peace of mind in the event that something does go wrong. You have a low deductible typically uh, about a hundred dollars, hundred dollars disappearing. So, and what does it mean for a disappearing deductible? I, I'm not sure what well, I- Well, Steve, as long as you bring it back to our dealership or one of our uh, other stores, they don't have to pay a deductible. Oh, I get it. Okay, so you have a, so if they take it to another dealership besides one of the SVG stores, they still will only pay a hundred dollar deductible. But what we like to do to entice them to come back to our location is, we call it a disappearing deductible, if I understand it correctly. That's correct. So the deductible goes away altogether. So extended warranties are definitely um, what we feel like a major part of the, of the buying decision when you're buying, whether it's new or used. Uh, Blaine, thanks a lot. I appreciate you sure uh, taking the time. It looks like you've got a delivery you're about to do. Yes, sir. So. Thanks for everything. You right, appreciate Steve. it. All Thank right. You. Any questions with respect to the financing and extended warranties? Blaine Dunsell is always available. Uh, or you can go to svgmotors.com. Did you notice uh, how easy the control panels, the visibility out there, the high density on the color there, how nice that is? Yeah. Right there. Then this lower part here is your comfort co and control center. And basically what this has is you'll see there's two temperatures here. This is what they call a dual zone heating and air conditioning. And basically what you do is you, being the driver, can set both temperatures here at like at 71 degrees. However, if you have a, uh, a friend, a wife, or uh, whatever that's sitting over here, and they want a different temperature. If they hit the separate button here, it'll go into their own uh, temperature. So basically, what it's showing, if they want 70 degrees, you want 71, they can change that by using the dual zone heating and air conditioning on it there. Huh. So, for someone like me who has kids, I have two beautiful children, I have a son and a daughter, uh, six and three, what are the safety features when it comes to your children? This has a five-star rating, 10 airbags there, so in the event of an accident there, everybody is covered. They're sheltered in a bag of airbags on it there. It has side rail, door supports in here uh, for a, a T-bone collision on it there, uh, but uh, they're a very safe car. I actually have a Regal and uh, love it. Uh, I love the performance of it. I love the way it handles itself. Uh, the visibility is great. Uh, it's just a great, great car. Okay. And like car seats, it has everything I need. Yep. The car it has seats latch up. system, which is a lower anchor tethered child harness. That is for putting the car seats that are up to date now in it to protect the children in the event of a crash. That's awesome. So my kids would be safe. Your kids will be safe, and it also has uh, child safety locks on it so that they can't open the door from the inside if they're set. Well, that's good to know because I want my kids to be safe. I can care less about my wife, but well, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you notice how the visibility here gives you a broad view uh, with uh, the hood? Uh, yep. Gives you, uh, how does it, uh, the handling of it there? Do you like the way it handles? I do like the way it handles. Yeah. Speaking of the hood, the one thing I really like about the hood is that. Um, when I drive my truck, one thing I like about my truck is I can see the hood when I'm parking or pulling in and out of spots. I feel like this reminds me of sitting in a truck at times because I can actually see the sides of it. Right, that's good. Right. The, uh, the vehicle also uh, has a large trunk in it, uh, so you can put a set of golf clubs in it there, actually two. Uh, if you're going on a trip there, if you the wife golf or anything, you have the storage for that. What about my hunting equipment? Hunting equipment, you sure can. You can put your guns and your uh, stands in it there, up to a certain uh, dimension, obviously. Right. But uh, for uh, just going out in the field for a day trip, I believe you get most of your stuff in there. I can throw on deer on the top of this, right? Well, I, that'd be something that uh, I've done it before, but uh, <laughs> it makes it kind of a mess. This also has the automatic temperature control in here. And what that does is if you set the temperature, it'll maintain that year round. You don't have to mess with the actual um, temperature controls itself. You set it at 75, it's gonna stay 75 year round. And don't forget uh, also really, this car has the remote uh, IntelliLink, UA IntelliLink, and what you can do with that, once you put the app in your phone, you can literally start this car from anywhere in the United States, unlock and hop the horn, you can set your directions in it, all by doing your cell phone on it right there. Really? Yep. Text messages, once that's set up, again, that requires an app that can be actually text on this uh, uh, unit here. 
um, the navigation, you have two means in this car here. The first means is your turn-by-turn -turn with OnStar. Also, this one is a built-in navigation, which is a moving screen, um, which comes with a, uh, the actual GS Regal itself one right there. Now, with the texting, I can't text no. why it's in gear, but if I'm stopped, I can you, text that's right. on the screen? This keeps you from texting on it there while you're driving it. Okay. The idea is to give you the convenience and the uh, uh, means to do that. However, it also keeps you from uh, driving and doing the same thing. In other words, you're keeping your eyes off the road. Buick is trying to keep this where we're safe on the road. Can I Snapchat on here? Can you Snapchat? Yep. No. That's good. I hate Snapchat. Yep. Uh, this does have your uh, uh, Apple uh, CarPlay, Android uh, uh, radio on it there. Uh, so you do have some means of the social media there. All right, I'm here in Urbana, and I want to show off the new showroom. The construction guys did a great job. Uh, when we got this place, I mean, it really had wood paneling. I mean, it was nice, but it was old stuff. And I'm anxious to show you the new showroom, new floors, new walls, new everything. Check it out. So yeah, now we're in the showroom, and we got to be kind of quiet. There's customers in here making deals, but we've got it decorated for the grand opening event right now. If you can see, we've got the pennant flags, but I mean, the floor is bright white now. Uh, we've got some new uh, seating inside here for the customer lounge. But here's the best part. The best part about this is that the deals. Um, you know, I've been so interested in, in uh, for about three years now, of buying this dealership in Urbana. Why? Because you can get a new Chevy, a new Buick, a new GMC right here in Urbana. And plus, we got it's a huge lot. We got plenty of vehicles out here, and we're making deals. Employee pricing to the public right now. Leases starting at one ninety nine a month. And if you're if you're concerned about maybe your credit not being able to get a car, you can. If you make fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a month, depending on your employment time you can get financing. We do have financing available. New cars, used cars. Anyway, come see me here in Urbana. SDG Urbana, Chevy Buick GMC. Great deals, great staff here, and uh, can't wait to see you. So one thing I noticed, Bob, is this still has a CD player. If you're like me, I actually just bought a Brett Young CD, the actual CD. I'm yep. weird, I still do that. Yeah. But I like that this has it because I notice a lot of vehicles don't. Right. This is one of the few cars that still has the available CD in it. Uh, the newer ones are coming out have the USB stick, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Yeah. Uh, where you can put all your music on one little stick, carry it in your pocket, you plug it in the USB port, it's your auxiliary, and you can play it through the system all right, right here. Okay. Now, does this have Bluetooth as well? This has Bluetooth here, which uh, is compatible with uh, a set of phones. The, Wi-Fi in this one here, you can actually take seven devices within 50 feet. Now you get a three month uh, or three gigabytes subscription to this one here. Uh, then each month after that, if you elect to subscribe, they'll give you so many uh, gigabytes a month. Uh, also, uh, this vehicle has a uh, really nice warranty. It has four years, 50,000 miles bumper to bumper on the car, and this has a six year, 70,000 mile warranty on the engine, the drivetrain, and the transmission. Now, along with that, at SVG Motors, we give you three years of oil changes, whereas Buick just gives you uh, two oil changes. We'll give you two oil changes a year for three years. That sounds pretty, pretty impressive, uh, especially considering, uh, you know, oil changes anymore, 60, 70 bucks because of the uh, synthetics that they use in these cars now, which give them longer life on it. They're less maintenance. Really? So, Bob, you said you own a Buick Regal. Yes, I so do. So, what are some of your favorite things about the Buick? Just the performance, comfortable. I like a good ride. Uh, and a Buick gives you an absolutely fabulous ride. Uh, the engineering, uh, the looks of it, it's a good looking car. Uh, this one here incidentally has 20 inch wheels on this one here with chrome and they're pretty doggone sharp. It's got dual tips on the back of it. This is a, a really great looking car. Aren't it? And it's that crimson red too, which is really, really nice on there. It has a nice ebony interior on the inside of it. So it's Oklahoma colors. Oklahoma colors. Go Sooners. But I'm a Buckeye. Beat the bucks. Beat, nah, nobody beats the bucks. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Rudy, the uh, Buick uh, Regal comes in three different uh, uh, three different models. There, it comes in the the value model. It comes in the sport. 
uh, and this is the GS, which is the top of the line on it there. This has got the bigger engine in it there. Buick has two engines available for it. Uh, it has a 2.4, which uh, develops 182 horsepower with at uh, 4,900 RPM. Uh, and then, the, uh, of course, the turbo, which this one has, is 259 horsepower. Uh, and it'll develop uh, uh, 279 foot-pounds of torque uh, at between three and 4,000 RPM, which is pretty awesome there. And when you punch it, not only will you keep up with traffic, you will pass most traffic. So I could race for pink slips with a Honda Civic. Yes, you could. That's good to know. I don't, I don't like Honda Civics. Yep. So I got to know, Bob, do I look good in this? You look good this way, Rudy. Something that fit your needs. I know you like to hunt and all. I know you got a truck, but uh, this would be nice for taking a family out. Well, yeah, I got a truck, but you know, my wife, she's looking for something a little more classier. Yeah, this would fit it. It is really comfortable. How do you like the comfort of the seats, uh, Rudy, the, 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 uh, how they conform to your body? I feel like they feel a little form-fitting, like they, they kind of, like, to your body, yeah, right. I feel the like it's kind of hugging me. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good. Uh, and also the back, the lumbar support. And this one here has the power seats in it, so that you can use your lumbar. Your it's an eight-way power seat. Uh, you can adjust it to your comfort and your means. Yeah, I like that. Man, this is a really nice car, though. Surprisingly, you know, I didn't yeah. know a whole lot about Buick. <laughs> Uh, just because I've always been a truck guy, yeah. but I'm actually pretty surprised on how nice this really is. Yeah, this is a mid-sized luxury car. Uh, the LaCrosse being the full-size luxury. But a lot of people don't like the bigger cars out there. They like these intermediates here, and this one fills that need. The car business and what it means. You know, people have asked me, um, how did you become a car salesman? And it's funny, it wasn't like I was in high school going, you know, I want to be a car salesman for the rest of my life. It wasn't like that at all. But it's unique how it happened. I was going to school, going to college, and you know, I wanted to find a way to pay for school. And uh, I went to work at the local Ford dealership there. And at first it was tough, but it didn't take long where I really, really found my passion. The energy, the camaraderie in the dealership, it was it was it was so fun it was so exciting and, and probably the best part next to a home purchase the car purchase is the second biggest expense that somebody will do and it's exciting it's exciting for you know that young kid who gets his first car or or the family who's getting their first uh, minivan uh, and 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 the, the guy who's getting his sports car he got this big raise and it's all such a big part of people's lives and being a part of that is what makes my job so much fun. Our cars are bigger than just transportation back and forth to work. A car sets the tone for your day or ends your day. When you've had a rough day at work and you're on your way home, there's nothing better than to get behind the wheel of a car that you smell the leather and the feel of the wheel and the, and the feel of the engine and the, 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 the nice crisp stereo system. It's just a little bit of alone time before you get home. Uh, that, that allows me to, to unwind or prepares me for my day. It's, it's really an extension of my personality and who I am. And, and it's nice to be able to get into a car. It, 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 it changes my attitude. And I think most Americans are like that. What, what really, uh, one thing about Americans we're known for is our, our cars, um, trucks, vans, sports cars, whatever it is. It's, it's, there's just something funny about it. It's just something weird about us Americans that we love our cars. No doubt about it. Cars are a prominent part of our life story. I remember my first car. And you know, for many of us, it's, it's our first taste of freedom. We're able to get out of the car and go wherever we want. And my first car was a 1977 Mustang II. Um, and no, it wasn't the cool Mustang that you're thinking of. It was army green, it was beat up, and I think I paid about $700 for it. But I loved that car. It was my baby. I cleaned it almost daily, and I had a nice stereo system in there, and I just, I, I kind of chuckle at some of the memories I had where we were riding around, me and some of my buddies, and oftentimes, you know, it's a four-seater, but somehow we managed to get six or seven or eight people in that car. Um, but 
you know, I just, I'm so fond of the memories of my first car. And I know for many, many people, their first car uh, just, just holds a special place in their heart. And I think it, that's, that's just the case with cars in general. So much happens. We spend so much time behind the wheel of our car, getting behind the wheel of something you're proud to drive. Maybe it sounds silly to some of you, but for me, it, it changes the way I feel. And I, and I don't think I'm unique in that. And that's why I love the car business um, and, and why we created this culture at SVG Motors. It's, it's a celebration of the, the past, the present, and the future of the automobile industry and how it's such a big part of the American heritage. It's just so much fun. One of the best feelings is when we have a customer that comes to us and they're not sure about their credit score. I mean, this isn't something they do every day. And oftentimes they're concerned that maybe they can't uh, buy the car they really want when in fact they can. Um, the economy is going well and the banks are willing to loan money and there's no better feeling for one of our sales staff to be able to find the car that somebody truly loves to drive and be able to fit that vehicle into their budget and be a part of that whole process. It's, 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 it's more than a job. It's, it's, it's something that we just, we, we're proud to be a part of and we're humbled and grateful that our customers give us an opportunity to be, um, to be a part of that huge event. Thanks for watching another episode of SVG Motors Weekly. And if you haven't done it yet, go to youtube.com and subscribe to the SVG Motors channel, or go to our Facebook page and like our page. And last but not least, if you want to see future episodes, go to your DVR and search SVG Motors and catch future episodes. Thanks again for watching.